Because most men are perceived by women as non-observant of how women move. Uh, am, I, again. am I? I don't want to miss that. Am I? <laughs> yeah, that, am I, I lying? On that one. Well, say that one again. Most women have the perception that most men are unobservant of how they move. You just made me think of a story. I grew up in Oakland in the '60s as a little kid, and you know we had the Black Panther Party to politicize me. But I used to hang out with the pimps and people from Oakland. Was listening, 98th and East 14th, fuck International Boulevard. It's East 14th, doggy <laughs> down. That's where all the pimps would come in the holes, and, and we would ride our bikes down because I was fascinated. And the pimp pole came back, and then the, the holes looked like Holly Berry. They was they wasn't all totally, you know, they was looking like movie busted. stuff. But I was fascinated how the psychology of a pimp and how they could get a woman's mind. And I remember I was asking one of the pimps, I forget his name, I said, hey man, how many bras you gin? He said, how many you think young blood was about five? Was he said, I said all of them. He said, no man, I ain't fucking none of them. It's the threat of dick. Yeah. Wow. And I never forgot. I said, oh, so all you do is out here getting caught up in this Me Too, you gorilla, you ain't got to do all that. Yeah. All you got to do is just stand there and let them come to you. Don't don't be aggressive in any way because it's dangerous out here for a heterosexual male uh. to get preyed upon. If you say, oh, your dress looks like next, you know, Harvey Rothstein is calling you tomorrow <laughs> and you go in the court. Yeah. So I always look, tell them, be look, cool, lay look. the cuts. Here's a little game for the women. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be objectified. You don't want to be treated like a hoe. Stop bartering your integrity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop bartering the shit. Some of them don't understand that. Can you explain that yes, to sir. When I say stop bartering your integrity, stop putting security and certainty over the shit that really matters. Mm -hmm. You know what matters? Stop blaming me for what's happening and I fucked you with your kids in the room and I don't know none of y'all. <laughs> stop asking me why. It's obvious why I did it. <laughs> It's fucking wow. obvious why I did it. You don't see that something is wrong and I spent the night over here and I don't even know you? I could be a killer. Oh, man. You asking me what's wrong. You, you really don't know what's wrong? And you let me in here. Bitch, I drove your car to the store. I met you two weeks ago. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You are crazy, bitch. Oh, I'm mad that I, I, I know you because you really don't know what's happening. I could have went all the way to Vegas. I'm a, I'm a good left. dude. I didn't dog you out, but you asking me what's wrong. You don't know what's wrong? Oh, man. You sent me to the mailbox, bitch. You trusted me with your mail. You asking me what's wrong. It's just cold out here. It's cold out here. You not ready for this. It's just I'm a good dude. I'm a good dude. That's why you ain't ate up. And what, and what Corey is communicating is a, a very real thing. That's Go why he's saying ahead. this is something that women and men need to start looking at, which is we need to really verify who it is that we're dealing with and check ourselves before we even get to the point where we want to blame somebody else. Mm. Go ahead. It's like slide. Hold on. Hold on. You slide back yourself. first. Why did you allow him to go that far? Do That's you even know him? Corey, what Corey said is absolutely correct. Do you even know me to allow me? First of all, hold on. You gave me the keys to your car. You told me where your children go to school. You mm. let me drop your children off at school. They don't know me from mm. a hole in the wall. I'm just another male's face in their face mm -hmm. to make them forget about who their real father is, to more conv to confuse them even further at, into their adulthood or until them being a teenager. You're talking you talking about have, your child's father to me. You're talking right. about you're doing all of these things <laughs> right. that you then blame men for doing, mm. but you encouraged and perpetuated this. This is where women have to be accountable as well. Then the man now has to be accountable for going into that situation. Mm -hmm. Both sides have to be accountable, but at the same time, the side that we look at that we don't get to look at is the woman being accountable because like you said brother it's hard being a heterosexual male in America Ooh, yeah. if you say anything that a woman is doing wrong all of a sudden you're a hater all of a sudden you have toxic masculinity which right. by the way that damn term was created by two Caucasian homosexual males yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you're also listening and following the white man again by calling us toxic and masculine please what knock is, that off what is that off. stuff that come out of a rhythm <clears throat> the tocin or something like that what is this stuff the that come out of a woman when you're oxytocin. having sex? you oxytocin. need to get control of your oxytocin babe. you must control it it is making you humiliate yourself in front of the streets 
Anybody wow. who know what's really happening know, oh, man, this bro green as hell, man. I can't be around her. <laughs> if she had let me do that, what else she letting go down? If we don't take responsibility for our condition right now, it's going to become worse and we're not going to survive. And I'm saying that, meaning this future generation ain't got a damn chance if they don't break out of the nonsense that's going on with the generation right before ours. This mm-hmm. this is not. This is why, for me, I don't even be blaming the older generation all the time now because it's like we have all the access to information right mm-hmm. now. Right. So if you want something... You go, you're going to get it. So they, they're looking up to certain rappers who now are backing down saying, you know what, I need to learn. Mm-hmm. A lot of rappers and artists and celebrities are openly coming out and saying, you know what, there's a lot that I don't know. Mm-hmm. My mother wasn't there. I'm, you know, I'm going to let y'all know. You know, your brother grew up in a single-parent household or my father was on this drug or whatever, and I didn't know, blah, blah, blah. A lot of artists now saying, I'm not going to talk about drugs no more. I'm not going to talk about killing my brother no more because that's just not how it is no more. Mm-hmm. The accountability has to start, and then we have to start taking responsibility for our women. Right now, if you see these police officers slamming black women down, the only reason why a police officer is comfortable Mm. With slamming a black woman on the ground is because he knows you ain't gonna do nothing. We ain't gonna do a goddamn thing as a people. Individuals like myself and certain individuals, I'm sure, yeah. will handle business if we were there. But as a people, they know we have destroyed y'all niggas so much and put you in a position Ooh. so low to where, guess what? You encourage us in destroying your own woman by you calling her a B word, by calling her a hoe all day long. So what are you telling us? You're telling me how to disrespect your woman. You're telling me how to embarrass yourself, how to destroy your children, how to rape your people, how to take your money, how to do everything to you. Why? Because you do it to yourself. Mm. And you do it so quickly and so willingly to where it's like, how dare you? I'm the white man mm. that you blamed. I'm the one who did it to you originally. And you're going to sit here and you're going to embrace it and perpetuate it on your own people and then all of a sudden get mad at me when you're doing the same shit that I did to you. Mm. How dare you point at me now in 2019 when you have access to information, you have access to all the solutions. You know who I am. Yeah. Brother, you so, know who I am, that, and, that's, and that's generational. Mm-hmm. That goes. That's back the to point of a ge- breaking a generational a woman curse. In full term, cut open her stomach. Come on, pull brother. The fetus out. Come on, and brother. Smash the fetus's skull and make all the other men Come in on, change. Brother. Come on, Stand there and watch. And watch. So that's that's what that's a direct hereditary line of what policing in our community is today. I'm mm-hmm. telling you now. I'm telling you now, sisters. This is where this is what the minister. This is when the minister goes in on women as far as educating them heavily and looking at the accountability because the minister does it for both of us. He comes at us as black men, yes, and then sir. he comes at them as black women. He don't leave nothing imbalanced here. He says, "Sisters, you need to stop helping to destroy him. Come on, stop emasculating him in front of the same enemy who emasculated him in front of you. Stop." perpetuating this because the children are watching the, 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 your ch- your children, their children everybody's watching whole and also to the brothers, you gotta take responsibility for it as well protect one another and then protect the better interest of the people as a whole, if you keep doing this in public you will not be able to blame nobody for doing right. it to us in public or private and we, we literally are not gonna be able to say nothing to nobody mm. stop allowing me to come over at 2 in the morning when you know <laughs> As soon as I'm done, I'm leaving. Stop asking me to stay and hold you for five minutes. You're destroying both of us. Let me get home to the woman I care about. Mm. <laughs> that is a raw... <laughs> Corey Holcomb is the voice of the Negroes. And he is being honest. That is an honest reality. That's an honest reality. Hey, I did that, man. You ever been coming and we both have to look at that. <laughs> do right by yourself yes. so I can do right by you. We've been destroyed. Man, so we got to take responsibility and, and heal our own. We heal our own people. We got to heal ourselves. I can't do you wrong now. if you do what you're supposed real. to do. You got to heal ourselves. Did you know that? I cannot do you wrong by you if you are set mentally the that's right true. way. That's where the self love comes true. in. Got to get back to self love, brother. That's, that's where it true. is. Avoid the savages. Let's go even that's deeper. <laughs> we got a couple more minutes. How Man. the fuck do you get married but you haven't <laughs> fully discovered yourself? Come on, brother. That's a very good question. To Aisha? Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. How you wake up one day and find that you jealous of the motherfucker you made vows in front of God to? Damn. Teddy Pendergrass said it in his song a long time ago. Make peace with yourself before you can love another. Yes. Well, no, no, yes. Yes. We all, look, all the real people of the world know Everything about that girl, cause she opened her mouth. Mm-hmm. All the all the people of the world know everything about me when I open my mouth. When somebody opened their mouth, they basically giving you the game mm-hmm. of who they are. Mm-hmm. 
They're giving you the game. Even though some people disguise who they are with words. Mm -hmm. But if you really watch it, you can That's see true. through that. That's true. Because their actions going to show you everything. That's very true. Oh, everything. Big. That's big. Ask the people who know me. I got, I got so many women that I sat down with after I was through with them and told them, <laughs> listen, we can't keep doing this like this. You seem like a nice person. I'm not going to answer when you call no more because this is only going to go bad for you. You're you going to start to care, and I ain't going to never care. I can fuck like this for years. You never give a fuck. But you looking for something special. Well, Do will, right by yourself. I will really say this. Up. Highly functioning relationships usually have Get it to yourself. Two personally accountable people <laughs> in that relationship. We talk about high functioning relationships. Mm. You typically have a man that's personally accountable, and you have a woman that's personally accountable. Absolutely. Agreed? That's a high functioning relationship. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with a man who has been cultured to be responsible, yet he's passive aggressive, mm -hmm. then he's creating, in my opinion, the space for the drama to come into his relationship. Mm -hmm. A man shouldn't be passive aggressive. He because passive aggressive is this manipulative mm -hmm. way to kind of voice how you feel about some shit without actually voicing it. No. If you a man and your woman has done something that has made you feel a certain way, you should be able to speak on it. Gotta communicate it. In respect, you ain't got to disrespect her to say what you need to say. Right. But you speak on it and you stand on what you stand on. There's a lot of men out there who are afraid to upset the pussy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they hold on to a hurt, a disrespect, uh, 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 a marginalization. They hold on to a gang of bullshit because they don't want to fuck up the pussy train. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I said wow. on this one, brother. Fear as the minister says, is our greatest enemy next to ignorance and the system of white supremacy. If you fear something, you are not able to move. Mm -hmm. There is no progress if you are in fear. This is why police officers are constantly beating us down because we fear the bullet. The women are constantly mm -hmm. in the condition air because we fear what will happen if we correct or communicate or express how we feel. This is why we fear this whole system. Everything that's going on is because of fear. Get over your damn fear. Mm. It's very simple. I'm saying this to the brothers. If you have something going on in a relationship with the woman that you are with and you don't like it, say it. Just say it. And, and of course, the, the woman, the women for the, for, the, for the vast majority will say it's not you saying it, it's how you say it. That's right. what they will tell you. Well, so, that's the justification that's for a, missing the point. Of course, right, of ahead. course, Ooh. of course, right? <laughs> and yes, and that is very true. That's very true. And the sad thing is, yes, they are emotional emotional creatures by nature, while we are more so logical, but we both have a degree of logic and we both have a degree of illogic. Right. But for a woman, yes, we have to take into consideration how we say it does matter for the majority of them. Some of them, they, they can just take it however you say it. Some are cool with that. But then most of them are like, I don't like how you said that. I agree, but I don't like how. Fine. So do it that way, and then you can at least say, listen, I said it, we communicated it, and that way you cover yourselves, both of you. And then after that, then what happens after, you know and you are aware of what's going on. But to go all the way back to this point, never, ever, as a black man or woman, blast your partner Come in on. public. Yeah. It does not matter how mad yeah, you are. Man. It does not matter what the situation is to a degree. You do not blast one another in public. You handle business in private like That's everybody right. else does. Period. That way it does not affect the integrity of the whole. Nobody else does this except for us. Wow. Nobody does it except for us as a group and we have to stop doing it. Corey, Lacey, final thoughts? I just want to say good luck to all the fellas out there as you find conversation with the average woman of America who's willing to take accountability for her actions. I can see Steph coming up to her with his soft pink voice <laughs> saying, why you do me like that? <laughs> Instead of walking up to her <laughs> tell kids to go in the other room. <laughs> About to shoot some shots at my wife. <laughs> Her behavior is out of control. So, pink mouth, 
You may be the greatest shooter in the world, but what you shooting at your woman ain't working. I'm just telling you. 100. I, I can't wait to see the game tonight because he's going to either be real good or real bad. There ain't going to be no energy. He's going to either make everything. No, he's going to be good tonight. Yeah. Riza, where can people find you? Yes, everything is under Riza Islam, R-I-Z-Z-A, last name Islam, like the religion, RizaIslam.com. If you would like to book me for any speaking engagements, and of course, everything else, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything is Riza Islam. There we go. Corey, I mean, uh, 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 Donald Lacey. Uh, you can follow me, DonaldLacey.com, and I'm going to plug something Sunday. Catch me on CNN at 6 o'clock Pacific time in the Redemption Project. The Corey, Banjo. where are you performing next, man? Banjo. Look, man, Dallas, Arlington, y'all know what's up. Arlington Improv. We sell it out every year, you know what I'm saying? I, I love the city of Dallas. Y'all always show me love. I'll see y'all Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Get your tickets before they gone, because you know they be gone. 100. Okay, 5150, 8 o'clock tonight. Can I just say, brother, yeah, this was we beautiful, there. man. Tonight, 5150. Yeah, conversation. Oh, yeah. I appreciate y'all, yeah. so, man. So yeah, listen, it's, it's, it's 2,500 people watching us live right now Wow. on YouTube. I want to say everybody go to my website and pick up a copy of The Holographic Relationship. Everybody, we should move at least 300 copies tonight. Go to my website, IamZoeWilliams.com. Get a copy right now. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I appreciate everybody for hitting the super chat. Oh, oh, Risa got one more. Go ahead, brother. Uh, yes, also my book as well is on pre-order right now, Message to the Millennials, yes, seeing yes. how that is something that we were delivering right now and tonight. Go to RizaIslam.com, pre-order your copy of Message to the Millennials. And the best thing Stephon Curry or Brother Curry can do right now is come out publicly and say, oh, well, she wasn't pleased yet, but she is pleased now. That's what a husband will do to handle <laughs> business, just to say. Corey? And I got a book coming out. Uh, look out for it. It's called The Alcoholic Heifer. It's coming out. All right. <laughs> hey, don't forget to join Corey and mine. Join our iStar. Go to iStar Vids. I think you mentioned that. Vids I with star. a Z. iStar Vids. Check that out. Vids with a Z. iStarVids.com. Corey is 5150 Freedom. 5150 Freedom on iStar. On iStar. I'm Zo What iStar. Join our iStar pages right now. I appreciate everybody New content for in. coming this week. Exactly. Yo, we appreciate everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back Friday with the ladies. The voice of reason shall return. Deuces. Wow. That was classic. Okay. Yeah. Like so that some of you might be saying, Brother Reza, how can you sit with Corey Holcomb? How can you be here sitting? Listen, we are all black men. We don't all have to say the same thing the same way. No, you're not bad for my brother. You're my brother. And I say this, ladies, we know, we know. That's a hell of a real one, Everything that is said on this show is not the expressed, uh, how, do, how do they say the disclaimer? It's just views of in opinions of Reza Islam, right. <laughs> but we are brothers, and he has the right to say it how he says it. I said how I said, and we are all going towards our people. Everybody being better. trying to turn me against Reza yeah. against me. I want you to know your mama was at me. <laughs> 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 you turned him against me. <laughs> so we all family. We too right. tight for that up here. We way too tight. Yourself, you and again. So we all got love. Man. Our family crazy as hell. Y'all know. So him, hey. So if I can't handle my brothers and my sisters and they were all formed, then I'm not, I'm not qualified to be your brother. Stop yes. judging. Stop judging. We all family here. Love y'all. Go to my website right now, reasislam.com. Pre-order your book, Message to the Millennials. Also, if you'd like to book me, also to get the Unity Bow Ties. Also, to get your copy of the Unprescribed Truth documentary. Grab all of that. I love y'all. Um, I should be in... Seattle, Washington on the 29th. I'm going to see y'all with Dr. Umar Johnson. It's going to be interesting. Peace. No, thank you.